hata eh, risale ya rambi rambi kisomwa you even have a problem with it i tell you that is not the way to go i can tell you that wonderful people of nyeri and now and remember also i served with a lay sister professor angari madai and when she was promoted to become when she was given the nobel peace award i think that is when our sister from naivasha became if you remember momentarily my assistant minister for environment so we speak with a lot of empathy people of nyeri people of kenya freedom fighters way to this is the time we agree and now I'll read this letter message of condolence to field marshal mudoni wakirema from the right honorable raila amolo dinga i join the mount kenya community and the nation once again to celebrate the life and times of a unique mau mau freedom hero mudoni wakirema who rose to attain the rank of field marshal this was certainly a giant amongst leaders and fighters has was an outstanding life by any standards we will miss her but we celebrate her for helping give birth to a nation the nation she helped give birth to may not have given her much in return but i want to believe she was not in the liberation war for personal glory again although we have had mzee moi menda an mandated councillor she was in charge of mandaleo nawake but even that was probably very small and if she was in it for our fellow freedom fighters then a lot more needs to be done most freedom fighters just wanted a life of dignity for themselves and fellow citizens they wanted africans to be left to determine their own destiny and to govern themselves i believe she died proud that her larger goal was achieved in times like this it is easy and no more to sit back he prays on the departed and return to our offices and homes without asking ourselves whether we treated the hero well when she was alive what we should have done differently or better and how to treat the few remaining freedom fighters in a way that makes them and their offspring proud of what they did for the country as a country we have to admit that we have not been fair to the men and women who brought us freedom at past functions like this our talk has centered on how the heroes fought for land and how they missed out on land in a changing world changing economy and rising population we ought to think beyond land reward to these heroes can come in the form of guaranteed education for children and grandchildren of the freedom fighters it could also come in the form of guaranteed public service employment for children and grandchildren of freedom fighters it could come in the form of guaranteed homes uh, from the government uh, for the children and grandchildren of freedom fighters or even shares in blue chip companies for children and grandchildren of freedom fighters i want to believe that as a nation we can extend these benefits to grandchildren of field marshal mudoni and those of our other freedom fighters but whether we extend this or not mudoni and our space in the annals of history and nobody can remove it from there while the colonialists tried to silence her and put her down mudoni sprouted her name became a colossal symbol of patriotism far beyond the horizons of mau mau and even the borders of kenya because she chose a life of hardship and persecution for the sake of our people in our country our place in history is guaranteed she remains a permanent lesson to all of that real leaders regardless of age gender position held must be prepared to sacrifice all for the benefit of their country it is in our memory that and that of the thousands of other comrades who sacrificed so much for our freedom that we continue to labor for the growth of our democracy we shall continue to labor 
unflinchingly in our honor and that of our fellow fighters. Fare thee well, field marshal. And I want to say the weaver bird, Honorable Raila Odinga. Mwisho, when I was vice president, ilikuja hapa ihururu, hata nikapanda mti maali kimadhi mwenyewa alipigwa risas. I planted a tree there. And I even gave instructions to begin